Number one, subscribe. Number two, hit the bell. Number three, share it. Number four, leave a comment, please. Well done. A++ for you. Um, I don't, you know, I always like to wear my hats because gravity sucks. You can blame gravity on pretty much everything, to be honest. Um. Okay. Okay, that's kind of close. If I'm running late, then, you know, I just grab my hat and go to work. Okay, class. Um, it's Professor Hatter here. I just came from UPS, and it is a hot one out today. I'm going to put the fan back on a bit because... Right now the dashboard reads 94, so I came over here to UPS to pick up my package, and um, someone wanted to see what was in here, and there's a little tear in the uh, back, there's a little dust coming out. Um, so yeah, someone was excited to uh, see what I got. I'm excited to see what I got, I know what it is. Um, and we're, we're filming in my car for a reason. Um, do a little field trip. It's not really a field trip. I mean, I'm in my car. It's like mobile office work or lecture on wheels. I, I, I think we'll go sad. Lecture on wheels. Had, had lecture on wheels. I, I think we'll, we'll, um, we'll copyright that. Um, Billy, can we copyright that? Oh, yeah. I didn't want to carpool with Billy. I had him walk. All right. Well... We got a new hat accessory in here, new hat accessory that um, is going to be pretty useful for the car here. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, get our notebook, pen, and pencil. Class is in session. Let's go. So, in my car here, so, in my car here, I do a lot of traveling. I am a, uh, let's put it out there, I'm a white suburban boy. Um, we travel a lot in, in cars, and because of that, especially, now for me, especially when I was in college, um, I, I was a commuter all four and a half years. Granted, the first Two years of college, I went to community college, so of course commuting was a essent was an, a must. Um, but then the next two and a half years when I was at Concordia, I did commuting, and that was like a at least a forty five minute drive. Sometimes, sometimes it'd be an, an hour, an hour and ten minutes maybe, depending on which route I took and there was construction or not. Um, but otherwise, I kind of live, live in my car in, in some ways. I, um, also don't clean out too much sometimes. That being said, um, I, you know, I always like to wear my hats. And, you know, when I'm in my car, sometimes I just want a little relief. Cause like right now it's sweaty. So I just want to give it some relief. So I just, you know, throw my hat on the dashboard. This is going to fix that problem where... It, sometimes the hat just slides over, slides left and right, wherever it wants to go, really, because gravity sucks. You can blame gravity on pretty much everything, to be honest. To be honest, I mean, let's give the example. If you were to push me off of off the uh, Sears Tower, Sears Tower, you know that Willis Tower crap, if you were to push me off the Sears Tower, and I was to fall to my death, technically, you pushed me, but it was a gravity that finish it. It's kind of like an alley-oop where, you know, you did the setup and then gravity did the slam dunk. Gravity will take the hat left and right and now sometimes my window here, sometimes it'll be open. Sometimes it's like, oh my god, is it going to fall out? But it doesn't. And then it's like, okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna close the window there. Just be fine. So this is going to fix everything. This, essentially. So let's take it open, open at it. Um... Very interesting packaging, and I want to give the shout out. I think it was Dan Dandy Nine in our hat group that posted about this. So glad that he did. Um, invoice. Cool, California. We put the uh, hat. Back. So we have here. Let me see if anything else. Nope. We have what they call the cap spot. 
So, what this is supposed to do, from the picture that I saw, coming out of the bag, this is supposed to go on your visor, there, and it's supposed to hold your hat in place. And we're going to give it a little test run here. Alright, um, disclaimer, da da da, that's like the example of how it's supposed to work. Now, there are two versions of, the, of this kind of device, this item. One is for flat brims, and the other is for curved brims. Like, not like low profiles that are really good, like dad hat curved. Um, so, you know, examples like this hat or a dad hat. Flat brim, like 15 and 50, or a snapback, or a curved dad hat, velcro hat, adjustable hat, something like that. So, I did not get the one for this one. Primarily because I get, I wear more often a flat brim hat. One of these days, I might get the one for the curved, just because it tested out. Uh, so we'll see. So, gonna do some magic here. Well, let's do it this way. Of course, the, uh, okay. That goes into there. And then it'll just hang from up here. Um, so one thing I'll note, I'll note is that I did mention like my, my low profiles. So this is kind of a low profile. I would not put it in here only because I know that it would stretch it or try to flatten it. Um, well, yes and no, kind of. I mean, my perception, the way that, because it looks like it would just really flatten it, because this is cardboard on the back here, and then... There's like very little wiggle room. I get it because it's supposed to, you know, keep the hat secure. But it just seemed like, you know, putting a low profile in here, or a curved flat brim, which is irony or a paradox. Uh, I think that's a paradox. Um, it just wouldn't, it seemed like it wouldn't fit necessarily correctly and it would probably flatten the brim. Um, not the total case here, it seems like. But so. Let's turn the camera around and try it out on the brim. So we have here the brim, the under visor, the thing for the car, uh, garage door opener, and what fell was my campaign card I've had in my car for the last year or so when I ran for trustee. So, of my local village. So you got to take the thing apart and then just slide it on. I mean, this should, I mean, I'm trying to do this the best I can with a camera right in front of me. Uh, just slide on. Gotta give it a little. Now, if your passenger is, is always expecting to keep checking themselves in the mirror here, might not be ideal. That mirror might, that uh, strap might get in the way, but whatever. So... And I really don't have any passengers in the car anyways. Yes, that's... I mean, even if this wasn't a pandemic right now, trust me, I still wouldn't be getting dates. So there's no really need to either have the passenger mirror open or have the passenger seat available, to be honest. So, so we're just gonna... Now, it seems like, you know, simple, like, hey, just... Yeah, there, it, it fits. So, surprise, surprise. But... What I like about this is that it's right there. Um, I mean, this isn't like a thing where you're like you put it in like on the fly. Like you have to put it in there with some extra force. It's not like an easy on, easy off thing. I mean, yes, yeah, easy out, of course, but you know, easy in. Okay, yeah, I just got proven wrong that it's a. Uh, it's not like a hook. Let me put it this way. It's not like a hook where it's like, you know, easy on, easy off, but it is easy. It's, I'm, I'm glad I got proven wrong. I'm, I'm always glad when I'm wrong, and usually I am wrong. Uh, so it is pretty easy going in, easy out. That is what I like. Easy in, easy out. So, you know, when I'm running late for work, surprise, I'm running late for work, and I'm sure if my coworkers or boss watches this, then they'll be like, yep, that's the case. If I'm running late, then, you know, I just grab my hat and go to work. Or, you know, 
if, uh, let's put it this way. Let me, let me do something. Uh, or if you want, you know, if you're listening to the game and your team isn't doing so well, you're like, oh, I hate my team. And then be like, you know, just easy on, easy out. And then you lose your hat forever. Maybe don't do that. But you get the idea. That's the easy on. Easy in. Easy out. Well, this one's a, a flat, a curved flat brim. It's a low profile, but kind of like wax on, wax off almost. So if you're just driving or just using it casually without camera equipment like I am, it's perfect. It's like, e it's like easy in, easy out. Wax on, wax off, like I keep saying. Uh, being repetitive. So maybe I should do a little test run here. Let's, uh, Get going. Oh crap, the, the White Sox hat. Hold on. I did roll the window down because it's like one thing um, I wanted to factor in that if, because this is pretty close to where the hat is, it's pretty close to the passenger window, um, a little bit closer than you would think, to be honest, I, maybe I'm exaggerating, uh, but I wanted to give that kind of extra test, a little um, factor of if the window is open, will the wind kind of like pick it up and lift it away? No, not a chance. And like right now, like I'm trying to, I mean, trying to like pull it gently, not happening. Pull it out and it's out. So I give this an A plus. I give this an A plus. I think it's also a great way to display your hat. Um, might be upside down, but I think people would kind of understand, uh, you know, what that hat is. You have a passenger, now this isn't going to, this wouldn't be in use when your passenger is next to you, or you wouldn't put it like in your face, because it would block your view of driving, um, which is just, just as dangerous as filming while you're driving. What a knucklehead. Yeah, I'm sure I can hear Billy, you know, he's still walking to the UPS store, I think he got lost, but I can hear him say, oh, it should have been filming while you're driving. It was for a purpose. It was for scientific testing purposes. Got a little tour of downtown Mount Prospect there there now, did you? Good stuff. Um, a plus item. Uh, I'm looking at it. Uh, this is really great. I wish I knew about it earlier. Uh, they do come in different colors. Uh, they did have a... So they come in different colors, which is really cool. I will for sure be getting the, the curved dad version one, uh, dad hat version, uh, sometime down the road pun intended. Um, this is a really great product that I didn't know about. I'm glad Instagram is out there for us to find out and have these products be shared with everyone. 
I hope that this is a moment that you're realizing that, hey, there's a lot of cool hat people out there. I found crown wipes on Instagram. I found hat pal. I hope to do a video on them soon. And now I found cap spot because of Instagram and other people out there looking and sharing these kind of hat accessories that we kind of have wanted in our head. Like, oh, it would be so cool if like this kind of thing existed because I have this hat problem. Um, yeah, I'm glad Instagram exists because of this so that we can find all these accessories, all these like kind of like small business owners, these small inventors that are making a difference that we can find these kind of people uh, on Instagram and find all these cool accessories. Uh, I will leave their information down below. Go check them out. Go find yourself cap spot because if you're like me and always in your car or in your car a lot of times and the dashboard is not a good place for your hand anymore or the passenger seats or in the back of the car or wherever this is a great thing for your car for your hats so go get a cap spot today or when you can but go get one at least i am professor hatter as always welcome to the class if you're new if you're a returning student welcome back make sure that you are subscribed to the class so that you get all this free content because we are operating in a virtual sense as always, there's never been a in-person class, even with the pandemic going on. We we're always online and free. That's something I think we can all afford, no matter what time of year or whatever crisis we're in. Uh, as always, I appreciate comments more than likes, but of course, leave a like as well. Comment down below if you've had this kind of problem before, or if you've ever heard of cap spots before. And otherwise, thank you all for watching. Hats off to you as always for watching. Good day, everyone. Last. Bye, everyone.